Alrighty, so right now it is 1.09 a.m. on Friday, September 8th. I've got a few more dishes to do, but I'm going to do that in the morning um, and pick up everything around here. Um, but I just wanted to, like, come in here real quick to say, you know, I so I have family in Florida. Um, my dad, whatever, and my half-sister and half-brother, and I think and I think my aunt and, uncle, aunt and uncle down there still, I think. Yeah. And, like, some of my family has, has moved out since I lived in Florida. Um, but yeah, I've got family in the lower, like, I don't know where my aunt and uncle live, but my dad and my two half-siblings live in the lower part of Florida. Like, they live above Miami, but still in the lower part. And I'm like, you know, so my sister and I are, are still not talking, apparently, because, you know, um, my short dish. Sorry, the string on my shorts was like loose and it was bothering me. But anyhow, so I know in a like, past video I mentioned that my younger half-sister and I aren't really talking anymore. Um, granted, we never really talked that much to begin with. It's all every, um, long story short, I've never met my half-siblings. I only communicate with them online. Um, one half-sister, um, basically, I, I'm not going to go into what it was to protect her privacy, even though I'm not going to say her name on here. Um, she, it's, she's under 21 and she did some things that I disapproved of and I have photographic evidence of yeah um and I called her out on it and she got mad at me for it I'm like yeah you ain't 21 yet and especially like oh I understand I, can't, I have no saying what she does or doesn't do but at least if you're gonna do something dumb at least be smart enough not to put pictures of it on the internet you know I mean yeah, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever else. People can do screenshots, just saying. Anyhow, you know, she's like, and I'm just basically trying to tell you, you know, like, things like this can reflect on you in the future, you know, you need to watch what you do, or at least watch what you post online, okay? You know, and blah, 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 you know, we should stay in touch more. So basically, what really got me is, you know, we should stay in touch more so we don't have any miscommunications, like, whatever we had, possibly. I don't think it was miscommunication. I think she was lying, but that's beside the point. I have no proof either way, so, yeah, I have to recognize that I have no proof either way. But anyhow, what got me is, you know, I'm like, you know, we should stay in touch more so we don't have, so we can, like, you know, have a better idea where the other person is coming from. And she's like, yeah, yeah, we need to do that. And then she cut me off of all social media. She blocked me from Twitter, um, which I can still see, by the way. Let's um, yeah. If you block someone from Twitter and they have a username, they can still. I'm not gonna say how, but they can still see what you posted. Just saying. Um, and you know, block just that to block me from Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm like, what the fuck? You you don't say, hey, let's stay in touch, and then block somebody from every social media and don't contact them at all. Like, what the heck? Excuse me. But um. That just makes no sense whatsoever, you know. So anyhow, um, I am <clears throat> uh, Snapchat friends with my little brother. It's like that's you know, he's on Facebook too, but for, I've noticed most guys aren't really into social media like girls are. Like that's just my uh, from my experiences. I'm not saying that's true for everybody, but you know. So I sent my little brother a message on Snapchat asking, "Oh, hey, are y'all okay? Are you like where like where are y'all staying? Have you evacuated?" I didn't, I forget what it worded. I basically asked that, you know, have, like, are y'all safe? Have you evacuated? Because you're in Florida, haul ass. And she's like, oh, basically, what I found out is they're, like, my little brother, he's got, he goes between, like, our dads and his moms. So, I, I, and, like, I'm never sure where he's at. Because sometimes she's in Florida, or sometimes my little brother and sister's mom is in Florida, and sometimes she's in Pennsylvania. I never know where she's at. Um... So I never know if my little brother's in Florida or Pennsylvania. But anyhow, apparently they're both with our dad in Florida. And they're just going to stay there and, you know, they should be fine. So, um, I'm going to have at least uh, my dad and, okay, to be honest, I don't give a crap about my dad. Because I think I've gone in videos about that before. But, like, my little sister, my little brother, um... They're gonna be rent and storm. So, like, it hasn't hit Florida quite yet, but it's like, and I can't. Like, I'm like, okay, all right. I'm like, yeah, 
I can't do any. There's nothing I can do to say or convince them that to leave. They're they're not going to pay any mind to what I say. And like a little sister and brother weren't born weren't around for Hurricane Andrew. Granted, I wasn't technically. I mean, I was alive, but I just wasn't in it. But I I remember the videos and the devastation on the TV, like on you know the news. And from my from my someone on Facebook did a comparison chart. I think my aunt, one of my aunt. My aunt in Florida actually posted it. Um, that Hurricane Irma is like twice the size of Andrew, and they're gonna be right in it, possibly, probably. So I just needed to put that out there. So I don't know how this is gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I'm also not entirely sure where to. I know my aunt and uncle live somewhere in Florida. I'm not sure where. And I, I. I I'm like I'm I'm think I'm kind of I'm using the term uncle, like literally as guy my aunt married. I know that's technically what it is, but I've never met the guy. Like, like this is a uncle I gained like long after my parents divorced, so I've I've never met him. I mean I haven't like, yeah I'm like you know you don't you know on Facebook, but yeah um. Oh and I, oh wait I have another cousin I have a cousin in Florida too and her husband and two kids. One's a little baby, like like what I, I'm not sure where. I think they're a lo, very low Miami. I don't know if they've evacuated or not. I have family in Florida. Just you know, wait for the storm to hit, and I have no idea if they've evacuated. I don't, do they need to evacuate? I don't know. It's like I'm kind of running worrying about this, but I can't. There's nothing I can do or say. I I don't talk to them on the phone anymore. I haven't seen them in person so, since I was like seven years old. So it's like it's one of those weird things. I might go into a video on that later. But yeah, I mean, thankfully, it's, um, good, several of my family members have moved out from Florida by now. Like, it used to be, all be, like, on my dad's side, I mean. Like, it used to be all in Florida, and now they're in, like, Louisiana and New Hampshire and o Oregon, I think. I think I got a cousin in Oregon. I'm not sure. Yeah. And apparently, I might have a new baby, um, first cousin once removed. I think... Like, when your first cousin has a kid, I think that's your first cousin once removed, um, because my step-grandma posted a picture of her, you know, her new grand, new great-granddaughter and her granddaughter-in-law. <laughs> but she didn't say who, like, I, this is how out of touch with my fa my dad's side I am. Um... <laughs> Because, like, you know, back in the day, like, now your parents divorce, you know, you can stay in touch through, like, you know, Facebook, maybe phone calls, email. Like, you, you can stay in touch. Back when the day when my parents got divorced, like, when you split, you split the whole entire family. Like, you, there was, like, no contact at all with my dad's side. So, like, I mean, until I was in college, I knew nothing about, like, what's going on with anyone. Like, I think I got a few birthday cards from my dad, and that was it, and then they quit. So, like, I had, there was no internet, no Facebook, I, like, if someone got married or died, I had no way of knowing. So, like, my whole family, my whole dad's side had been wiped out completely through, like, a hurricane or something, and I, would, I wouldn't know anything about it. Which is kind of, was like, it's, yeah, like, what the, yeah. Many y'all, that was, like, things like, Ba like marriage and babies. Again, I, to be honest, on my dad's side, like I have several little first cousins once removed. Apart from like one cousin who actually, like I don't know if any of my cousins are married or if they're just like you know, the, like um, like if it's like that common law marriage type thing, you know, if they're just boyfriend girlfriend, if they actually like. Okay, no, two of my cousins are married. I know that. Hold on. Yeah. Like, one of my guy cousins, um, posted his wedding pictures on Facebook, so I know he's, like, he had the whole, he's married, <clears throat> of, like, whole ceremony, everything. And my other cousin, um, her, she had, her last name changed, so she did that at least. But, you know, there's no wedding pictures for anyone. It was just weird, like, to, like, to me, like, being raised in North Carolina is just weird. I mean, like, not... Not not getting married is weird. I mean, do what you do, do your own thing. But I'm saying it's weird to not post at least one wedding picture on Facebook if you actually did choose to get married. You know, do you do you? But you know, you think you want to put that on, like, 
acknowledge it somehow me know. But, like, I'm like, I don't, like, some cousins that are like, I don't know, I mean, like, it doesn't matter, but, you know, it's one of those things you think, like, as a family member, you should at least be aware of. But, you know, like, I, I just have to send them out, you know, they're just about going about living their lives, and then, you know, we don't think, I don't think anything of them, because I got my own thing going on, which is still perfectly fine and normal. But then, boom, baby picked, like, there'll be a little baby picture, and I didn't even know they were pregnant, like, like, who, like, what, ba okay, new baby, apparently. Yeah, like, I knew she had one kid, and boom, she has another kid, I'm like, okay, she, like, my little cousin's cute. Um, but, but the picture I'm talking about with my step-grandma, like, the mom, like, it's like two, like, what is the name, like, okay, Erica and Amelia. I, I, the way she worded it, I don't know if Erica's the, her granddaughter-in-law or the baby. I th it sounds like, the Erica sounds like a name for more of my generation than a baby. So apparently, I, I'm assuming that's her name, I'm assuming Amelia's the baby and my new cousin. Like, I know it's my, um, on my, my side because, like, my step-grandma didn't have any of her own biological children. Um, it's just my, her, like, she helped, ra like... Yeah, her only kids technically are my dad and my uncle and aunts. And I have, let's see. Okay, I've got three guy cut my, as I noticed, I'm like, Trevor, who's, whose kid is this? It's like she didn't mention it. I'm like, okay, so it could be <coughs> my, <coughs> so my dad's brother has a son who is the one that moved to Oregon. Might be his kid, no idea. Um, I do have one cousin still living in Florida, I think, or where's he at? My, anyhow, one aunt has a son who's, like, a few months older than me, could be his kid. Um, the other, my other aunt's son is the one who's married, I know it's not his kid. So, it's either my uncle's son, it's like the, um, it's either my uncle's son or my aunt's son, that's the dad, the new dad, but I have no clue which one. At all, I'm like, okay, like, apparently have any little cousin? Like, like, where do you feel on the family tree? You know, it's, it's weird to not know that sort of thing, you know? And she and she makes no mention of it. And, like, the only comment is, oh, that's it. It's like someone saying that's a cute picture. Like, one of those, like, random comments. It's like... I, I, I have, apparently, I'm assuming new family members... But I, I don't know how I'm connected to them. You know, it's like, it's just, it just, it's just weird to me. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so, TLDR, I have family in Florida right in the hurricane zone that are not evacuating. And apparently I have a new baby first cousin once removed, but I don't know which cousin is the parent. Yay! I'm gonna go. Bye. That's like a, that was really weak. Bye. Like, meow. A little kitten meow. Yeah. So um, I think that'll be all for today. Even though it's already one, it's like only one in the morning, because I've got stuff to do tomorrow to clean up, and I, I should clean up a little bit some now. I need to take my melatonin, so I'll actually go to sleep at a decent hour. And yes, you know, and I don't know if, what I'll be doing tomorrow as my grandparents are coming home, and I can't go any, like. They're coming home, and, you know, I've got to show them the damage from the bathroom leakage. I need a new, oh crap, what was it, um, car part that I'm brain farting the name of. Starts with an A, I'm brain farting the name of it. And I think my grand's tire pressure is low. And I've got a sinkhole to deal with. Because, of course, 2017. So it's 1.27 p.m. and I guess I'm filming more for today. Yeah, I have not had a shower and my hair is all funky and yeah, my I'm going to get one later but right now the towels are in the wash. So for the time being, um, I decided to go through one of our um, closets, we have several, and go through some old shirts and see what I want to keep and maybe donate later. Because like, what else am I going to do? Also, my grandparents are coming home tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. I... They said they were coming home this morning, but, oh, no, the traffic's too bad, and so, yeah, I mean, this should be fine. This, the storm's nowhere near them, but, like, I was trying to help them avoid traffic, and, 
yeah, clearly that didn't work. So anyhow, I'm just going to turn the camera around, and we're going to go through these shirts that I wore, like, I think some of these I wore in high school. Some of these I don't even remember, but, like, I know, it's like, I know they're mine, but I don't remember when I wore them. Yeah, I did not have any fashion sense back in the day. You'll see in a minute. Turn, okay, turn this lamp on here like I should have done before I started filming. So, yeah, I wore, like, I wasn't big. I'm, I'm actually smaller than I, like, hold on, see, see the size of these shirts. Are, are we seeing how big these are? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, I want, like, I'm actually bigger than I was back in high school and middle school. I think most of these are, like, these are, like, high school, middle school clothes. I just had a tendency to wear huge shirts, like, shirts that were big enough to cover my shorts, um, even though my shorts were, like, fingertip length or longer. I don't know why I wore such huge clothes, and, like, I know in middle school I had this huge big dog t-shirt face. I don't think there's any in here. But yeah, I wore a lot of, like, giant sh Like, I had no sense of style at all. I just wore gigantic shirts. Yeah, most middle school... I think middle school was humongous shirts. Sh like, I don't even know what kind of shorts my grand picked out. My shorts, it was pretty much, like, they come up, like, past your belly button and down, dang near down to your knees. Like, I would... I think I would refer to them as kind of almost mom jean shorts, but I, like, that wasn't a term back in the um, early 90s. So I didn't, like, and I never went, I don't think I really went shopping with my grand. She just brought clothes home, and I wore what she brought. Like, I didn't care. And so I wore, like, whatever shorts my grandmother picked out. Huge t-shirts, often big dog. And a ring on every finger. I'm not, like, except for my thumb. Like, because they didn't really have thumb rings, like, that I knew of back then. Like, I'm just like, 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 I don't mean, like, little, you know, fakey rings. I mean, like, real, like, a real-looking rings. Like, those... There's none of those, like, things you see in Walmart, with, like, the, with, like, um, they turn them, and, like, have the rings, those, like, real-looking rings all around. What are those on every single finger? Like, yeah, I was styling back in the day. Both hands, no less. Okay, back to the t-shirts. Alright, so, I don't remember this one, but I know it's mine, because it looks like something I would wear, and it has that, um... Chinese thing that was really popular back in like the late was it the late nineties, somewhat early two thousands. This one, like a little surfer dude. Well, so I'm gonna just set the yeah. I'm gonna let's move this crap so it looks, at least looks better. Dude, there we go. Um, yeah. So then we have what is this one? This one is guest sportswear. Yeah, I had several guest items. I'm gonna do palm them. Yeah. I think I'm going to just randomly pause this between takes. Right. And now that I have them turned around the right way, here we have one from when I visited the Tennessee Aquarium. I probably wore this once or twice, and I got it because it was cute. And probably the cheapest thing in there. We've got some otters. I don't remember what year I visited this. I have to check my journals. And then we have this one. Um, where did I get this? It says... From about 1996, uh, I think either my mom gave this to me, or I ordered it in one of those, like, school catalog things where you have, to, like, like fundraiser things. I don't remember, but there's that one. Also size ginormous. It's an adult large. I was probably, like, a medium or a small back then. Yeah. And then we have this one from the Hershey Museum in Pennsylvania. A fun little story about this. Um, so... I went, um, my friend T went to this place separately, like, I, did, I forget when, and she ended up with the exact same shirt, like, I forget who went first, but, like, we didn't see each other's shirts until after we'd, um, both gone, and we ended up picking out the same shirt. Or maybe she, she might have had strawberry, I don't know, we had, it's basically this shirt. And he's so, got, you know, the Hershey thing, and I'm tangled up here, hold on a second. Technic coat hangers, yay. So you think, there's nothing on the back, okay. And I can't, I'm having difficulty um, pausing this because the little pause button is like too far from my thumb. We have this one. This one might be, I don't remember this one at all. This one might be my grand. Um, not really sure. This one will go back in the closet because I don't remember this one at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm trying to reach the, trying to shake it here like this. I'm trying to reach the pause button and it's only like, it's like little, there.
go. I'm still recording. Yay. Hold on. And, okay, and now I'm recording and I'm trying to turn the You can see me. How do I... I'm trying to get this to show the um, camera. Can I... You might see me. Hold on. Then I edit this. Can you... How do I get it to... I want a mirror Im I want it to film a mirror image of the camera, the um, phone. I'm going to take a screenshot here. I'm going to try... Can I... Oh, there we go. Okay. And then we have this... I'm pretty sure this is, like, my grand's maybe? I don't know. I just like the little tree thingy on it. So, yeah, and I know my grand's... Hi, not going to wear this. And then we have the Carolina Opry from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina with Southern Translations. Let's see which ones I've actually used. Um, yeah, we're not this redneck. Even though we're from North Carolina. Um, brain. Hurt. I think we do say pictures. Yeah. The, that word just sounds the same to me. Picture, like picture you um take, like a picture you take and a picture you pour from. So that one we kind of do use, <laughs> but not intentionally. It's gonna. How do it stop? Oh, okay. And this is some really bad filming because I'm trying to, like, f like film a little bit. Like, like, reach over and hit the pause button, and then put the shirt up and go back and start filming again. But I can't, qu my finger won't, my little thumb won't quite reach over to the pause button. So I think I'm hitting it, and I'm not, and I'm just like, I just keep filming, you know, moving the shirt from, like, one chair to the other. And it's like, it's, it's awesome, <laughs> I know. But it's like, my, it like, it won't quite reach over. Like, my phone's, like, slightly too big to be doing that. <laughs> but, yeah, so... Like, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, if I'll edit that out or not, but if I don't, that's why I, I'm trying, and I'm just sucking at it. Let's, let's, let's edit that out. So, right now, I have the, um, can I, can I show you, I'm, like, how do you, like, if I wanted to film the front of my camera, like, what I'm looking at, how do you do that? Because I just, it's just, I, like, I turn, um, I turn it towards, like, I'm going to turn the little camera here towards the mirror, and this is what I get. I don't want this. I don't want me holding the... I got, like, a little mirror thing going here, you know? Like, you know, when you, like, hold two mirrors to one another, and you got, like, that infinity thing. I don't want that. I want to see this thing. Like, I want to see, like, this. Okay, you can kind of see it there. Got an infinity thing going on. Like, I want to see just this, and, like, I turn it around the other way, and I just get... It didn't work. So anyhow, I'm dang it. I'm trying. I'm trying here. I'm having to. I'm. I'm like dumb as a brick right now. Apparently. Okay. So you see the little buttons here and here. Like I try to. Can I get my hand is all up in the way there. Like I'm trying to hit the pause button, and like my thumb don't didn't. My family. Like it didn't quite reach. Which is miss me. And it just gets shaky when I'm like trying to reach it. And awesome filming here. Okay, back to t-shirts. So I'm just going to film, I'm just going to be doing this a lot. Because I'm tired of trying to reach the pause button. So this is a shirt from when we went to Washington, D.C. And it's got some lovely stains on it from I have no idea what. But I just, I really like the, I probably got for the moon and the stars. So there's this one. I'm going to do this. And, and, oh, got, got to flip them back around now. Let's see if I can get these turned back up. Let go. Coat hang problems. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Well, one of them's the wrong way. <laughs> Fail. Uh, this definitely from that. What what um whatever it was called like ever everything was like all Chinese inspired. This one. It's like a guy shirt, but it was mine. It's like oh yeah, it's like a dragon face, like a little short lived dragon face too. So there's that. I think I won the, like, yeah, I won this somehow. Small, like, there was some little contest, and I won a t-shirt. Like, I think it was some, like, Verizon something something. 
or I don't remember what the contest was, but like I won a, t a Smallville t-shirt that I never wear because it was ginormous. Yeah. Smallville? Oops. And yeah, and the cat bed. There you go, cat bed. This is definitely mine from like middle school or elementary school. I don't think th like, I don't think this would fit now. Um, if I can get it to open, let go. There we go. This is Sue. Do like, yeah, who is this? Yeah, unicorn T-shirt. I this this my name. My fingernails are just fantabulous. Yeah, you can tell where I you know, must like. I managed to cut myself with a screwdriver. Don't ask. But anyhow, so little unicorn here. And this is, what is this, Lorna, whatever that says, it looks like sofa, something Lorna, whatever that says, Lorna Bean, Ben, Benny, 1989, the artwork at least, so there's that one, this is an adult medium, um, pretty sure this is not an adult medium, that's like a small, anywho, let's turn this, it's facing the right way. There you go. Yep. And I think this is another um, school fundraiser shirt. Maybe. I, I'm not sure where I got this from. Looks like one of those like fundraiser shirt things we had. And, uh, yeah. So th Okay, so this is at least from 1995. I like how it has a copyright date on the bottom of it. Yeah. There's that one. Um... I really don't think I'm going to wear any of these, but yay, nostalgia. <clears throat> and then I know I wore, like, I know I wore this one. And even though it's got a, you can tell I wore it a lot because it's got a nice stain on it there. Um, this is from 1994. I wore this in the 90s. I don't remember when I wore this, but like, I know I wore this quite a bit. Because I, I must have worn it quite a bit because I remember it, actually. And then we have this shirt. Uh, whoops, that I just took off the hanger. Um, <clears throat> like, I know this isn't mine, because I was born in New Orleans, and we left when I was really, really little. So this has got to be from the early 80s, and I don't know if it was, like, my mom's or my grand's, but, and I guess it's mine by default, because New Orleans, and, yeah, I'm taking it. Alright, next... And next we have this one. I know good and well this ain't going to fit me. This is a little kid shirt. But, like, I had a huge unicorn thing when I was little. Again, hi. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this was back there. And I just didn't have a cross-eyed unicorn going. Or, like, whatever you, flying unicorn peg. I used to think these were called, like, pegahorns. Like, seriously, I thought flying unicorns were called pegahorns. Or unipegs or something. Yeah, anywho, so, there's that. Turn the right way around. And it's got little designs on the sleeves, too. There you go. <clears throat> and then, yeah, this is definitely middle school. Went through a huge Looney Tunes phase. Got Sylvester and Tweety there. That is the wrong way, again. There you go. And gotta turn these around. Add us another Looney Tunes with Tweety Bird this time. Might I think I know someone we might could give this to. I'm pretty sure this is mine. <coughs> so yeah, the mid nineties, nineteen ninety five there. And yeah, there's nothing on the back. So Tweety sweater. And yes, our rugs totally match. And then <coughs> sorry, come on there. Um, little random cat shirt. Told you I was styling back in the day. So, yeah. So it's, I probably got that from the beach or the flea market. That might have been, I might have had that screen printed on there. Not, because it, it feels like a screen print. At, okay, so and at the flea market we went to, um, the, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to tell you, it's the North Mortal Beach Flea Market. I know it's open on Saturdays and I think it's open, it might be open Fridays, but we always go on a, um, Saturday, and some of it's open on Sunday, but it's mostly closed on Sundays, and there, 
was and still is this like one section where you can or like get t-shirts and have them I think you still have them screen printed with like like they have like uh, like a wall of like different um designs you pick your design and your shirt and they're like screen they're like pr like iron it on for you and I think that might be one of those shirts we have several several sweaters with things like that on there so yeah that's what that is I think pretty sure it feels like it yeah and next we have this glorious thing this might have been from the beach, um, uh, the flea market, I'm not sure uh, we had someone do it for us because, I mean, I don't think the flea market did the um, glitter puff paint thing we have going here. And there's even a little one on the sleeve. I can get it open. I'm trying to get the sleeve to open up here so I can show you better. I don't know. I know I'm filming nothing there. <coughs> yeah, I think we might have had this one made by a friend or something. There's one on the sleeve, too. My hand's now stuck in this. Out, there you go. And my shorts are all flowery. Random. There you go. I need, I should totally wear this this winter. Just because, you know, we have a silver puff paint cat with glitter. The, I think the cat itself is an iron-on, and then there's, like, you know, glitter puff paint on it. Oh, no. All right. Next, we have this Alaska shirt I happened to, like, I didn't know what this was. I just picked a few of these up. This one, I know good and well. Okay. And then we have this one. I've got a, yeah. This is definitely one of mine. This is, like, sort of, this is almost, like, puffy. It's not puff paint, but it's, like, it's textured and random. I'm pretty sure this is mine, or I might have gotten it from a friend, um, like, secondhand. What's this from? I just, Hurricane West Virginia in 1992. Okay. Um, so there's that one. And then finally, there's this very, very 1990s Mickey Mouse one. Yeah. Hi, hear me. And yeah. So there you go. And I picked up a few that apparently weren't mine. Put that. No, you can't play with a. What is that? Envelope opener. And like, what do you call these things? Yeah, you can't, you, you can't play with that. <clears throat> I have some more somewhere else, but I don't know where they are right now. I think that's enough for right now, at least. I'm going to have to put the other ones back up. Yeah, I'm going to... Um, right now, i got to figure out how to get the internet back to working. And, yeah, um... Technical difficulties. Okay, bye. Alright, so now it's 11.57 p.m. The internet went out around, I don't know, sometime after 3, around dinner time, maybe 3 or 5 or somewhere in there. And I have, I think I'm going to finally call, call um, customer support. I kept, like, restarting the modem, like, redoing it. I've reset the thing, like, five different times. It's not working. It's not connecting at all. I've got that stupid red light going. And I hate talking on the phone, which is why I'm putting it off so long, and my cat is in the background. Got that going on. Um, yeah, I just hate talking on the phone, and so I've been putting it off for, like, ever. Like, I, I, I'm just, I just don't like talking on the phone, like, I hate it, like, um, I probably, like, I think I mentioned phone anxiety before, and every time I try to read about phone anxiety or whatever online, it's always, well, good, but, well, it's always about, you know, well, sometimes you worry about awkward pauses or not having anything to say, or, like, you're interrupting someone. I don't feel any of that. Like, I can talk to someone face-to-face just fine. It's like, <laughs> like... I don't, it's not a worry, it's like, I'm like, well, I'm, I don't want to bother these people, it's a 24-hour help desk, that's what they're there for. It's just like, I'm almost compulsion to, like, hide under a table or something, like, I'm not going to do that because one, that's stupid, and two, I want, I'm not going to fit under the table anymore, like, yeah, I used to, 
sit up under the table when I was a little kid, because eh, I used to fit under there. That's It's been a minute since that happened. But, uh, yeah, I just needed to come on here and complain that I hate talking on the phone, and I don't have a reason for it. I just... It's just, like, feeling that I want to run away and hide whenever I need to talk on the phone. But if it's someone I know, it's no problem, like, no big deal. But, like, customer service, for some reason, yeah. Not that man. It's got pink. And got my very 1970s shirt on again. And, oh, my cat wants out.